Queen made by Play Toys is the 1-6 scale figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check Queen Amidala, a third party figure made by Play Toys. And it's not normal for third party figures to go into Star Wars, so this one is a bit of a surprise, but it is an art box that it comes with very simple. It's only our figure here in the front with some background from the Phantom Menace and in the sides going on with the same design in the back, the normal warnings. Inside everything is very, very basic. There's only a figure, there's no accessories, no display base, there's basically nothing inside except the figure because this Queen Amidala it will be just like a background character. And taking a look here at the figure because there are no accessories, first the head sculpt. I will not consider her perfect likeness but I do like the way they did this. And if you don't like the likeness you can always say is her decoy, it will work uh, that way. But I do like all the stuff they did here. The hair I think looks really cool, those sides parts and here in the back you do have, um, not rooted of course, but you have like real hair that they had here in the back and it looks really really cool, it gives more realism to this figure, to our Queen Amidala. As for the dress, this kind of vest itself, it's very well done made of a kind of thick fabric but even with a fabric like that you still can use the head sculpt the movement of the head sculpt even with the, all that hair it's not a block you can move the head sculpt easily but backing here to the vest made of a kind of thick fabric on the top then you got here these golden parts i do like all the detail they did here in the vest as you can see it is larger on the arms it's very accurate the design to the movie because you can have you have other inner sleeve again with this kind of fur and then you still have uh, the sweater inside the red one that is exactly how she used it in the movie the ends are indeed a bit shiny or too shiny like all the third party ends this is an easy fix you can just change for a, a better hands here the vest in the down then continues until it opens up here you got this kind of gemstones or something like that they are kind of heavy but they will help later for you to do the posing inside uh, you do have here some kind of very plastic and cheap boots but they are not important because you will not uh, have them shown this is a kind of a smaller body the the height is 28 centimeters and for the articulation it's a normal body it's a normal one six scale body it's a female body so it's more skinny of course that's why it will look like this vest is a bit too large the torso does have uh, some movement and in the legs you still have uh, double jointed knees not that it's really important for this figure i'm not seeing anyone uh, doing any action poses but if you want to sit her on the throne uh, there will be no issues because this is a normal one six scale uh, body the main issue for me it will be to have the vest open and without any wrinkles because this is a bit difficult i already have tried and it's not the easiest thing to do but with some time i think we maybe can achieve a cool pose but that i was saying if you want to know the height this figure is 28 centimeters so i think it's accurate and here we have our queen amidala and to be very honest with you this as a background character for your prequel collection it will look really amazing is a figure that as simple as it is it will stand out because all the vibrant colors and i think it looks really really good it's a figure of course that we may see from hot toys maybe this year with the phantom menace anniversary but we can never be sure and this offer from play toys it's fairly priced i think it's around 140 or 130 something like that i think it's a good option for a background character you can even ever with Padme that is releasing soon from Hot Toys and I think it will look great in any Star Wars collection. But that's all for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Queen Amidala by Play Toys. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.